Men on Manus Island are being warned they won't get resettlement in Australia as a result of Australia's new medical evacuations laws. The first referrals under the recently passed laws could happen as early as this week, but lawyers for the refugees are also mounting a fresh legal bid to try to get them off the island. PNG correspondent Natalie Whiting reports. Men falling ill or self-harming is now commonplace on Manus Island. People are sick. People are sick because six years living in an indefinite detention or in uh, limbo is enough to destroy anyone. The Australian government has just extended a $21 million deal for a company to provide health services for the men. But refugees and asylum seekers often end up here in the poorly resourced public hospital, which is frustrating locals. Are very limited and they're also getting this help out of what's supposed to be actually ours. Men who are deemed too ill to be treated on Manus Island are brought to this hospital in Port Moresby. But with the Medivac bill now becoming law, the path to treatment in Australia has become simpler. But those patients may end up in the Christmas Island Detention Centre. So people lose their hope now after passing the medical bill. A new legal bill is also being launched, arguing the men are still being imprisoned against the country's constitution because they're kept on the island. Basically what we're saying is this. Look, if you continue to detain these guys on Manus Island, that's still a detention. What will happen after a medical transfer remains unclear. The men on Manus Island are preparing for more uncertainty. Natalie Whiting, ABC News, Manus Island.